Hey guys and welcome to The Bachelor, season 23, episode 3. Sorry it's a little late, I was busy and stuff, so that's all there is to it. Here we are, we're going to talk about episode 3. This show is terrible. Okay, okay, let's go and let's start with, oh, this clip from Sydney. Last week was a little dramatic. Last week was a little dramatic, apparently. Well, yeah, considering this is the most dramatic insert blank ever. Chris Harrison tells us all about it. Of course, it's gonna be dramatic. And she also hopes that uh, all the drama is over, as if she's never seen a single episode of this stupid show. We learned that there are going to be three dates, two group dates, and one one-on-one -on -one date. So they're reading out the list of names for the group date, and oh no, oh, ha who saw it coming? Oh, who knew? Hannah B, is it B? I don't know. The Hannah chick and Kaylin are gonna be on the same group date. Oh, God forbid. What kind of show is this? So they're gonna do this dumb pirate thing and this segment makes me want to throw up. What? This is a story of love and heartbreak. <laughs> why? Just why? I don't... <clears throat> I'm about to dry heave. Uncomfortable. I don't want to... I don't want to be here for this. Colton tries to act and it's mostly just embarrassing and annoying and disgusting. So, ew. I think today is gonna be fun. I did not like the way she just said that. So they're doing this jousting type thing. Okay, fun. So they joust and then two people get to go on to the final round where uh, they both compete to try and save Colton. So for literally no reason at all, no explanation, all of a sudden Tracy and Kaylin are our final two. And then Kaylin ends up saving Colton. Congratulations, Kaylin. And then they kiss in front of everyone. This isn't a thing that typically happens. Usually they don't kiss other women in front of of all the other women, but this is the second time Colton has done it, and he does it later in the episode. So I don't really know why he's doing that. I don't know. Usually they're like, um, I have some respect for these women, so I'm gonna save our kiss for private. But no, they're just kissing everyone right in front of everyone. Okay. Naturally, Hannah's freaking out. And now we are on to our night portion of the group date. I don't understand him. I think he's just really uncomfortable in his situation that he's in. And so he talks a lot because he feels like he's supposed to talk a lot, but really he's just being awkward and uncomfortable clearly. Demi and Tracy talk about his type. Tracy had a different type when she was younger compared to how she is now, which is an obvious jab at Demi. I feel so bad for y'all. Same. We see that Demi cusses as much as Tia did. I wonder if he sees that correlation. So Demi and Colton's time together, she ends up blindfolding him and paddling him. And then she gets this fake hand and runs it down his body. I just want to know where the heck she got a fake hand. Do the producers just have one laying around? That's my question of the night. How did that get there? Where did it come from? Uh, apparently Demi interrupted some chick's conversation. I still don't know her name, but she immediately wants to pull Demi aside. Do you want to come chat with me? Okay, sure. I just love how so obviously irritated Timmy is and how she just doesn't want to mess with this because it's just so stupid. And then back at the mansion, we learn that Elise is going to get the one-on-one -on -one for the night. So this whole Hannah and Kaylin thing, Hannah decides it's time to tell Colton about how crazy Kaylin truly is. So Hannah goes and confronts Colton and, and tells him all about how she's fake and everything like that. And this freaks Colton out somehow. He's like, oh my gosh, this girl that I had the worst date with in Bachelor history is not telling me all all this stuff about this girl that I actually like and now I'm conflicted but really he's just like you're a psychopath and I'm on Kaylin's side because I can't stand you I only kept you because the producers told me to keep you ma'am and then she makes him kiss her she literally forces him to she he did not want to kiss her at all was trying so hard to just dodge her and not kiss her at all. So naturally, Colton pulls Kaylin away and asks her specifically, what the heck is going on here? She cries, so he sides with her, and then she gets the group date rose, which is a giant slap in the face to Hannah. Honestly, my opinion on these two, I think they're both crazy. They both look fake and seem like a psychopath. Kaylin just hides it a little bit better. Uh, Hannah, Hannah has those crazy eyes, you know. They both seem like they're both psychopaths. So maybe they're both telling the truth to Colton, in my humble opinion. <laughs> 
All right, and we're back at the mansion, and Kaylin is still crying about what happened with Hannah. Okay, and it's time for the one-on-one -on -one with Elise. Guess what? They're gonna go into a helicopter, and it's the first time in a helicopter. Poor Colton, it took three whole seasons to finally get you on a helicopter. I apologize for that. So they're going to San Diego to Belmont Park to play with a bunch of children. So this is definitely... Not the date that um, I would be taken on. Let me tell you, uh, if I ever got desperate enough to go on The Bachelor, don't put children in my date because I do not know how to speak to a child. It is actually pretty comical, me sitting there trying to converse with a child. So I guess maybe it could be a date for me, but I would hate my life and I would probably go home. So this little girl in the middle here has apparently already had her first kiss. So she is miles ahead of Heather. He's more likely to choose her than Heather. Let's just say that. And then back at the mansion, we get the other date card for the group date. And it turns out Hannah G. Is it Hannah G? I just don't care to look at this point. But the chick that got the first impression rose the first night, the one with the weird stare, she did not even get a date at all this week. So, sucks girl, sucks. So Elise, of course, got a rose. So here's your rose and let's go to a concert. And to Neil Arts, who? Nobody knows, we don't know, but Colton seems to talk like he knows who she is. Talking about how it's so, so great that uh, she's given us a private concert as if he has any idea who the heck she is. And it's time for the group date and Colton is working out in the middle of a random street. So now we have Terry Crews and Rebecca Crews here and for the second week in a row, I'm confused as to why these people are degrading themselves and coming on The Bachelor. You are worth a lot more than this and be a little smarter. I need to be your manager because what is going on here? They help them train for, what is it, The Bachelor's Strongest Woman competition? Yikes. And once again, we have Mr. Fred with to help in Chris Harrison commentate this competition. My most notable memory of him is whenever he was on Sister Sister as like the principal or something and they, they opened something and they had to get the big scissors to cut that, that opening ribbon, you know? They had to find those big scissors and they got those big scissors. That's really what I know him from. So just a little fun fact there. <laughs> they did this thing where they had a limo and a girl strapped to the front of the limo and they were supposed to try and pull the limo. Ladies and gentlemen, behold the absolute worst scene and dumbest scene, I didn't know that was possible either, in Bachelor history. <laughs> driver in the limo her rope wasn't even pulled tightly she was tripping all over the place because her rope wasn't tight but she was leaning all the way forward and then when she got to the finish line it kept moving as she stopped what was the point of this what the heck I am I'm at a loss for words because I'm so confused as to why this would ever be a thing that they put on there I don't know I don't understand and if you believed this was real go home you need to go home you need to take some time reevaluate your life and um just not not be here wow so then Onyeka ends up winning the bachelor's strongest woman congratulations and then he kisses her in front of everyone yep smart way to go bro now it's the night portion of the group date and every one-on-one -on -one conversation he's having with them they're all talking about strong women and it's weird because it's like this is like a writing prompt and they all have to write about the same thing so they're all talking about strong women in their lives and strong women in general well all of a sudden Oh, apparently he's not feeling Caitlyn. Caitlyn? You mean the girl who just pulled an entire limo with her body across, across a... Are you serious? Caitlyn, you're not feeling her? She's so strong. Are you kidding? So he sends her home on a group date. Now that's something you don't see very often, sending people home in the middle of a group date. Okay. So she's gone. Caitlyn is gone. And she comes in 19th place on this game show. And then out of literally nowhere, Nicole gets the group date rose with no explanation. We, I don't even remember their conversation. That's how important it was. Congrats, girl. And then Chris Harrison says to us, oh guys, he's not going to do a cocktail party. And you know, Hannah G is shaking 
shaking in her boots because she didn't even get to have any time with him at all this week. But then Chris Harrison hits us with a, he wants to have a pool party instead. Woohoo, yay, okay. He'll have his shirt off. You guys will get to hang out with him with his shirt off. And Chris Harrison just proposed to him already, my gosh. So immediately Hannah and him get to talk about how she didn't have a date and he told her that it's because I feel so confident in our relationship. I feel really confident in what we have and so like I'm secure in this and so I didn't think I needed to spend any time with you this week. And she goes, yeah, I understand. Yeah, I get it for sure. I get it. We're all good here. I'm not angry or anything. It's just like, <laughs> why'd you do that? But okay. Yeah. He literally tells pretty much every girl, I like you. Okay. Every girl. He likes every girl. That's gonna come back to you, but okay. You keep saying it. Also, there are like 30 minutes left in this episode and there has only been one virgin reference. I think it's a miracle, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you, it is a miracle. And back to the Hannah and Kaylin show. <laughs> Why? What? I don't know. I don't want to know. I'm over this. I don't understand and I want to not be here. So yeah. So basically Kaylin discusses the Hannah situation, tells him that Hannah is actually the crazy fake one and then he goes and talks to Hannah and Hannah's like, what? She's questioning my character? Oh, what? That's so rude that she would just tell you that I'm fake as if she's not the one who started it. But okay, Hannah, okay. Now all of a sudden Colton is distraught, still doesn't know what to do, and Chris Harrison becomes his therapist because that makes sense. Honestly, they're saying each other are fake. They're both fake. Send them both home in the exact same limo so they have to spend even more time together, please. You have 18 people left. What's 16? Like, you're gonna be fine. Kick them both, I don't care. They're literally just here so the producers have a TV show. And now it's time for the rose ceremony. The beloved rose ceremony. Let's go guys, let's do this. Demi, you accept this rose? I am ecstatic to accept this rose. What, what is she? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay. <laughs> and naturally, who do you think got the last rose? Yeah, it's your girl Hannah. He still clearly doesn't like her, but the producers said we're gonna be dramatic. She's gonna get the last rose. She's gonna stay here just a little bit longer. You have to act like you like her just a little bit. Okay, and we lost three more women tonight. Coming in 18th place, we have Nina, Brie, and Catherine. 18th place. So in total, four losers of the week, and we are now down to 15 people left. Whoopee. We're already down to 15 people, and I love that for us, so. Okay, guys, well, that was this episode. Again, sorry it was a little late. Here we are, and you have it now, so. Hope you don't hate me too much. I, mm, mm, this show is torture and I honestly can't believe that people actually seriously watch this show and don't watch it just to make fun of it. I don't understand how people actually believe that this is real and that people actually, I, I don't understand. I should, will never understand that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, then okay. And I will see you next week with episode four, unfortunately. But we're going to do it together. I got you. You got me. Let's go. Okay. Thank you. And goodbye. <laughs>